The world's biggest chip maker, Intel, is celebrating a major breakthrough in transistor design, a development some say is as revolutionary as the original design of the transistor itself. Silicon Valley Bureau Chief Jim Goldman was one of the first to see the new design, and he explains why this is so significant. You are looking at something Intel calls the terahertz transistor. Its size can be measured in molecules, those arrows just a fraction of the width of a human hair. But it is one of the biggest advances ever in the chip business. These are really radical changes that we're making, and we're basically banking our business on this new technology. So just exactly what is a terahertz transistor? Well, this thing can turn itself on and off a trillion times in a second. To put that in some perspective, if you try to do the same thing with a light switch, turning it on and off, it would take you 15,000 years to accomplish what this transistor does. Lickety split. How did Intel achieve this kind of performance? Through a complete redesign of the transistor itself and the use of a super secret new material that keeps it cool. So this is uh, Intel's internal version of the secret sauce. There is a secret sauce element to it, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that secret sauce will fundamentally change the way microprocessors are designed and how they operate. It solves the industry's biggest problem making microprocessors far more energy efficient by reducing the amount of heat they generate. When transistors get smaller and smaller, we switch them off and they still draw current. It's kind of like if you switch your light off and it, the light just went into dim mode instead of off completely. It would be draining uh, electricity when you don't want it to be draining electricity. Uh, we're eliminating that phenomenon with this new material. This thing is going to really shut it off. Intel says that ability alone will dramatically improve performance, even as chips get smaller and smaller and smaller. And with a new class of microprocessors, each featuring billions of these transistors on board, Intel says the performance of just about anything electronic will dramatically improve as well. Wouldn't it be great if I could be speaking on the phone to somebody in, uh, in a foreign country and have my speech translated in real time, as I speak it, have it translated into that person's native language and have it translated back when he speaks in his native language. Uh, that's something that is far beyond the capabilities of today's microprocessors. And without a major advance like terahertz or something like it, a microprocessor's capability could max out. In the Silicon Valley Bureau, Jim Goldman, Tech TV. Intel says microprocessors featuring the new Terra transistors will drive development of powerful new voice recognition technology and power new generations of mobile devices. The chips could be in mass production by 2005. We are going to take a break, but when we return, we'll be talking to semiconductor analyst Dan Scoville to find out just what Intel's big breakthrough means for the entire sector. Stay tuned.